Hi, I'm Tom Pratt. Been here for a little over 20 years now. Been working with the same nucleus of guys here for a number of years. We're real proud of what we do here. Hello, my name is Tom Pratt. I'm production superintendent at Champion Carriers in Hermitage, Pennsylvania. We manufacture every type of carrier that Miller offers uh, from a 17 and a half foot aluminum on up to a 30 foot steel uh, and everything that's in between. You know, we're also the largest carrier manufacturer uh, in the United States. Some of the things that we offer uh, as far as what other carrier manufacturers don't have is a LCG carrier or a low center of gravity carrier, which is unique to the industry because it is a very low carrier. Not only does it have a good uh, center of gravity, which is good for hauling high equipment, but it uh, does a very good job as far as unloading. We also offer a right approach, which no other manufacturer has. This particular carrier has a five foot folding tail that gives the ability to haul vehicles uh, with low ground effects easily. I think the thing that makes Champion unique in the industry is the nucleus and group of people that we've had here for the entire 22 years of its existence. Uh, this nucleus had stayed together. We've, we've concentrated on, on making the best product that money can buy. And every day that we come here, we, we have the attitude that we are going to do just that. My name is Ron Nesper. I'm the Director of uh, Engineering for Carriers at Miller Industries. I govern the, uh, uh, the direction of the designs of the carriers, new design developments, and I also provide technical support to our distributors, our sales representatives, and our plants worldwide. One of our distributors, Dave Jager at American Enterprises, uh, collaborated with us on a new concept for carrier for lowering the deck height to give us a uh, lower center of gravity, uh, a better load angle, and better handling. And through that collaborative effort and uh, a lot of engineering time, we come up with a solution that we felt worked uh, really good for the marketplace. But the development of the LCG project started in February of 2008. Uh, we designed it through the spring and the summer and introduced our first 30 series industrial LCG on chassis with super single wheels at the Baltimore Tow Show in November of 2008. Everybody was impressed with the low deck height. Most of our customers uh, hauling industrial type equipment are always uh, after a lower deck height, better center of gravity, and uh, more payload height, and uh, that product uh, accomplished all those goals. We introduced a Series 12 LCG carrier in the spring of 2009, and that one really set uh, the world on fire. It's been a very big success for us. My name is uh, Dan Sebastian. My title is President of Champion Corporation and uh, responsible for the Pennsylvania operations of Miller Industry. And I've been involved in the towing industry since 1974 and before that part-time from 1968 to 1974. When we started with the car carrier, the car carrier was just a small tool that the towers used Actually, the towers didn't use the car carrier very much. It was more the auto wrecking industry that used it. As the cars evolved, where they made it more difficult to tow, then the car carriers came on stronger. The towers started to use the car carriers more, to a point now where I would say there's more car carriers built today than there are wreckers. You know, 30 years ago, the car carrier was strictly a bed that slid back uh, there was no attention paid to 
load angles or uh, weight distributions or wheel lifts. We have the best, strongest, longest reaching wheel lifts on the market. The big change came to a car carrier in maybe in the 80s when we added the wheel lift to the car carrier and took away the tow bar. And from there until we developed the LCG, there was very little change. Uh, once we developed the LCG, it revolutionized the whole car carrier industry because it lowered the bed so you got a much lower center of gravity, plus you got a better loading angle, plus you have uh, the ability to reach up and tie down the vehicles without getting up on the bed, which, you know, can be a problem in the wintertime. You know, the LCG really changed the car carrier industry. It was like when the wreckers got the wheel lifts. Hey, my name is Jake Bowers, and I'm the general manager of the Greenville, Tennessee Miller Industries facility. Uh, our main product here, primary product, is the car carriers, the 10 series and the 12 series LCG steel bodied car carriers. Uh, our key here is our people. Uh, our people are, are genuine, they're extremely good welders, got some real good history that goes back into days of shipbuilders. This was actually a plant that built sub assemblies for, for ships, for Navy ships, for submarines especially. The plant was initially started from Miller Industries in 1999 uh, and strictly building 10 series steel carriers. Uh, since then we've introduced some other products out of here. We built a seven car uh, multi-car transport trailer. It's 53 feet long and it's a massive piece of steel. It weighs over 20,000 pounds when it's complete. Our expertise and our value added is strictly in three areas. Uh, of course it's welding and then paint prep and paint and then also an assembly uh, through hydraulics to assembly of the product. Everything begins with our welders. I keep, I keep mentioning them but they truly are the heart of the business for us. Uh, starting at the front of the shop and then we do different types of cleaning. We do a lot of grinding, hand cleaning and then we do a phosphate wash process on everything we build here. The phosphate wash process uh, is crucial for paint adhesive. It actually etches the material and gives a nice clean surface prior to putting on the primer or the undercoat. Uh, once we do that, we come to the back end of the plant and all the different products, whether it's trailer, wrecker, or carriers, or side pullers, we start the assembly process. Hydraulics, electrical, wiring, um, you know, options such as work lights, remotes, uh, whatever the customer needs and whatever the order requires. This is subframe assembly after paint. Uh, the unit's already been painted, subframe's been painted, all the cylinders have been painted on it. Uh, the first step of the three stages is where we start adding all the electrical lights, backup buzzers, uh, trailer plugs, uh, all these things are put together, wiring's all run and we electrically test everything with a, with a machine that's custom made for this type of, of test. As we move on to the second stage, as you can see, this is where we add all our hydraulic hosing to the subframe, everything that's attached to the cylinders. Um, we also put on all of our control station hardware, handles, knobs, uh, make sure everything works on the control station. From here, it moves down to the next station. This gentleman down here is finishing up with all our hydraulic work. He also adds the, for the underlift, he adds the stinger portion of it, the inner boom. He also adds the crossbar. All the detents, everything goes with the crossbar. Uh, once he does this, we hydraulically test everything on it at this stage. Uh, it's finished. If it's a 10 series, it goes around the corner. Uh, gets removed from the rotisserie and put in one of these slide fixtures where we marry it with the bed of the carrier. If it's an LCG, it's been tested. Uh, it goes from here back to the back door and goes out in the yard and it's ready to ship. 